I expect honest estimates. What is the most honest estimate you can make? Exactly the right words. I don't know. The most honest estimate is I don't know because the answer is you don't know. How long is it going to take me to do this thing? I don't know. But you do have a little bit more information than that. See, there's two components to an estimate. There's the accuracy and the precision. Now, the I don't know is the right precision. It's just that you haven't been very accurate. So give me some kind of number, right? Like, how long is it going to take you? Well, you know, I think Friday seems like a good number. Here's what I really want. I want three numbers. I want the best case, the expected case, and the worst case. I want you to say, well, if everything goes right, and I mean everything, then I might be able to get it done by Wednesday. But things don't usually go right, so probably Friday. Uh, you know, but if all hell breaks loose, probably next Friday. Now that's a very honest answer. It's honest both in accuracy and precision. You've given both the, the expected time but the boundaries on your, on your lack of knowledge, on your indecision. It's wise to provide that kind of information. And some, some, uh, how many of you have done this ever and then, and then had the response, well, that's not good enough. <coughs> we need to know. What do you do then? You say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you need to know, but that's the best I've got. Well, you've got to do better than that. You can't do better than that. Well, there's got to be some way you can, you can improve your estimate. No, there isn't. Oh, come on, you're not being a team player. Um, actually, I am. I'm giving you the, the best information I have right now. You're the manager, manage. Right? And then here comes the word, well, will you at least try? Careful, careful. It would be very tempting right now to say, yes, I'll try. You must not say that. The answer is, how dare you imply that I am not trying? I'm, I've been trying this whole time. I am still trying. And you're suggesting to me that I'm not trying. I don't have any magic beans in my pocket. I cannot change reality. The numbers are as I, I, I've told you. You're going to have to deal with it. I am not going to try. You know, by the way, that you are tempted to say, yes, of course I'll try. And why are you tempted? Because you and I, frankly, did not get into this business because we like working with people. <laughs> and we're not very good at working with people. So in a confrontation situation where there's somebody in your face going, I need it by Friday, we want to get rid of them. <laughs> we want them to go away. And if they say, will you at least try, you've got an easy way to make them go away. Yes, I'll try. Now go away. <laughs> But here's the problem with that. The fact that you have said you will try will not change your behavior at all. There will be no different decision you will make, no different behavior you will use. It will change nothing about the outcome. It was a lie. You told a lie. Because you already are trying. And there's nothing you can do about your current uncertainty. You to specify it and let the, let the chips fall where they may. You had a question up in the, in the back, and I, I delayed it as long as I could. I just want to say that the response we usually get is they only carry the Wednesday. They only hear the Sunday. Yes, of course. Right, yeah. You give them the best case, the nominal case, and the worst case, all they hear is the best case. And then they shorten it by two days. Right? <laughs> because they figure you're padding. Right? This is just a trust issue. Right? And we've had this problem all along where you know, developers will start padding on the back end and then the managers start taking the padding off on the front end and it's this constant race to see who the heck has got the most padding or can take it away. You give the range and you hold to the range and then you improve the range when you have better knowledge. 